it's actually. So it's a high school level education place, job quality is 60, so it's not bad. And the wealth provided is well off, so this thing is actually quite nice for what it's uh, worth. And then we almost have it uh, filled up here, so that's also pretty good, and the effectiveness is pretty high. Let's see what we can um, do to improve it with these upgrades. So there are the automated line thing, unlock the modern times, so the machine choppers in the Cold War. Ooh. So those things, those two things will increase the effectiveness by quite a bit here, but we can also do this conditioned dyes, or conditioned dryers thing, to make it use less raw tobacco. And already it is doing a very, very nice job here. I think what we'll do here is that we'll actually buy the uh, the conditioned dyes thing right away, just because I believe this thing will just, uh, will just start to print money. I mean, at one point, I think once we say are able to get the uh, to enact the the, the scars thing, um, that'll help out quite a bit. And because I think the cigars like retail for like three thousand, like thirty six hundred per whatever amount the, these the, the default units is uh, listed in. And with that said, that would be actually really really nice. Here is our latest scientific. And more research is being done now, so that is good. And the main thing that we just want to do here is that we just want to unlock the bank icon over here. And we'll also unlock the compass, and I think we'll do social security and all of these things over here. Alright, so that'll be that. Apprentice. And let's just, in, let's just uh, invest in the lottery tickets right away and see how that I goes, am really. Apprentice. And perfect, more people have arrived inside our little island here. Right, so our money actually went uh, back into the green. So I'm assuming that the export, the uh, the exporting business here is going absolutely great with, say, the cigar factory and all. And this thing has already made us 16 grand off of that air time alone. So this thing is definitely a very, very capable structure. Right, so moving from here, let's see what we can do. Um, more tobacco. Let's get another field going on over here. Uh, this area is like semi-decent, so it won't be bad, it won't be great. And we'll just pluck that down. I think we'll have to uh, get the road to just sort of stretch through here just, just because. Now inside this area. Um, let's see. I want to fix up these farms over here. Because at, as, as of the current, these things are really just kind of iffy with how the road is set up right now. So again, I think we'll clear them. And we will really just uh, straighten, this area, straighten this area out, and we'll link it like that. So now, all we have to do is say pluck down another construction office inside this area so people can work here. And I think we'll need a Teamsters office as well. So let's see if we can... Oh yeah, we can. We can put that right next to the ranch like that. And that'll do its own thing, pretty much. Presidente, I'm shaking. Oh, and of course, mandatory disaster per per level. Oh no, we damaged our. Uh, we made it. Tobacco farms are damaged. That is going to take some time to repair. Right, so let's get these areas fixed up here, and we'll just sort of continue on our merry way over here. Right, so there we go. Fix up these buildings. And there we go. Oh. Hmm. It is time to break the steel Swiss spirit, literally. Some dreadful opera music ruined my entire evening. And then it hit me. All right. Well, it looks like we're supposed to export steel now and some of the uh, the other stuff. So let's actually figure out how do you make steel inside this game? Because is it really just you turn iron into steel here? Uh, let's queue these up like this. We'll probably we'll need the uh... ah. Let's do the steel mill first, and then let's do the compass. The compass here is actually really really useful. Because it'll remove this sort of like fog of war from all parts of the map, so I think we'll try to uh, get that done right away here. And again, we really we want to move to get uh, that bank tech right away, 
because that is when we can really sort of blitz down the Swiss um, bank thing here that we have going on. So, right, this area really needs this construction area to be done, and afterwards everything Our else will just sort of build. There we go, we have the steel mill, and yeah, it'll, it'll do coal and iron, and then that, okay. So that'll be good. I am so furious. I cannot believe what just happened. Well, it looks like the islands of Puerto Coco and Isla Rojo just won the lottery, although we managed to siphon off a small amount to our Swiss bank account like that, so um, at least that's still slightly good. Right, so, uh, well, our town is actually doing really well, and our budget is going back into the green and back into that very wealthy state. This thing has already made its 20 grand. Wow, this cigar factory is one of the best things there. What happens if we, oh, I see, when we increase the budget for it, it'll just increase the effect, the uh, happiness that the, the people work from work quality. All right, well, this area is doing quite nicely. And yeah, as the game recommends, we probably will build a high school very soon here. The reason build, the reason being is that once we, uh, say, pump out more people, namely, say, a steel mill, that'll use, that'll definitely use uh, high school people to man that. And these farms will hopefully build in the next little bit here. Let's see, can we have, um... Can we have a few more ranches? Uh, I mean, cattle should be the easiest one to say actually produce, but eh. I think we'll have one cattle farm, or yeah, cattle ranch. Right over here as well. Oh, actually, this one is... Um, we have three ranches right now. One is already doing cattle. The other one's doing pigs. Let's actually change this one. And let's castle it. And I want to increase the, uh, say, the food diversity of our of our place. Because then that, uh, that, uh, that increases the food quality of our island. So we'll put down one of those. And our wharf over here is doing its thing. So that's good. Our people have access to, to tobacco. I'm not really sure if that is considered food like coffee. But at least we do. Oh, let's build a banana. Let's do a banana farm. Right, so let's put down another one of those over here. And that'll just do its thing. And right now we are generating just heaps of cash. I'm actually just going to quick build, say, the Teamsters office over here. And the construction office because we really need uh, more logistics coming from the Teamsters. And more, say, construction people working on the different buildings over here. So we'll do that. And the reason being is that over here, I think it's time to open up these mining areas. So we'll start to connect them over, uh, say, this in this fashion. So we'll get them. And what we want to do here is that we just want to link them down to these areas like that. And I think we'll make, say, a straight road right here. And we want to have maybe perhaps a parking lot over here. And then go to raw resources, mine. So we have one here, one here, and one over here. So we have two of these coal mines working, and one of these uh, box type things working. And we'll also have the coal, two coal mines over here. Now, one thing that I have to wonder about is that do these mines refresh after every single game? Speaking about, like, say, the limited resources, like the oil and stuff inside this game, I mean, because the islands are for, to an extent, these persistent ones, do you, would you ever get to the point where, like, say, you've played the match for, like, way too long and you just effectively I've run out of areas of here and there? Lately. This is awesome, because I am all for meeting new people. Welcome to the Jolly Roger, newcomers. Drinking, partying, worshipping El Presidente, and having mm -hmm. a good time are mandatory on our island. So, I mean, that is just sort of that. Now, let's see. I have a clinic. Uh, the healthcare thing seems to seems to be not working out. Comrade Presidente, I feel that the revolution's agenda is threatened. I received word from my dear... Co hmm. Swiss people love some dreadful... 
Right, so right now I'm trying to figure out how uh, we can get our approval rating back up, because currently it's uh, it's starting to dip down. Oh well, I think we'll just build a... Presidente, at the start. Ah, there we go. We've unlocked the compass. So that actually pushes away all of the, uh, the, the fog of war, if you will, here. And yeah, that is... Re Why do we have three uranium mines? Huh. But anyhow, um, yeah, that'll allow us to explore the entire island now, so that'll be nice. Right, so currently, ah, there we go, we have two gold mines over here. So right, now we can see the entire area here, and now we can also do the tri-dock location, which I'm not really sure what it does, but I think it's something in... Yeah, there we go, it increases the speed of all trade ships. That's kind of neat. Right, so going from here, what do we need to do? We need to unlock one more tech before we can do the bank, so we'll just quickly tech that thing up. And currently, I'm a little bit worried at the fact that we might say have a... Oh, we have four managers too. I'm worried that, say, people don't have homes. We have 24 homeless. That's, yeah, kind of startling. So with that said, here's what I'll do. Let's put down a few more country houses over here. We'll make a strip of them over there. Now, inside our central zone, how's the police coverage so far? It's good. The Liberty is also pretty good. And the school itself is also pretty good. Now, let's see. Hmm. Let's see whether or not we can, say, increase the happiness of our uh, people here. So, I'm wondering whether or not building multiple taverns that will actually do, say, too much here. To increase the happiness, but, um... Suppose we will we'll put one right in the middle of the city, right next to that police station. And I think we'll do some public works over here, so we'll put that one tiny little garden. And I think it's time to say give the people over here some, or actually, yeah, let's build a steel mill. And for the steel mill, let's put it over, over here by the mine, so that it makes sense, because for now, we have so much cash that I think it's time to build some sort of like suburb area. So build like an area for, I would say like decently wealthy people over here. And this will be more or less of like a gated community in the same in the sense that it's like behind the police station. And we'll just fill this area up with these houses. So that will be that. Church is done, so that'll increase uh, the... I want to say the liberty because currently we're on, yeah, we're on secular state. Some dreadful. And later on, we'll build these uh, military buildings and the barracks, and of course, all of that. Right now, what is going on over here? Oh, I see. There's just nobody working inside the mines because they live. Uh, well, those mines are, of course, all the way over here. Right. So the next time uh, another trade ship comes over here, I'm gonna spend the cash on buying a few more of those country houses next to the mines. So hopefully, more people will want to li live over there, and of course fuel our economy by mining that coal and of course the steel over here and while our building permit is starting to earn us quite a lot of cash as well and there we go we're starting to get back up into the 10 grand range so, come over here, and we'll put down, say, a few country houses like that. Hmm, and it might be time for, say, another tenement block, so I think we'll, I think we'll, um, do something like that. There we go, so those two buildings get destroyed, and then we come up on top. And there. Nice and pretty. Oh. It's a tiny traffic problem over here. <laughs> on Main Street, on our town. Oh hey, this is actually really nice. You have a... You have a view from the palace. Right down to the harbor. Exactly into the, the, the little harbor or 
like warehouse area, the the one that's that's the clown car area where cars just go in and out. Then they don't research that. Don't you know that if you do, you will then research socialism. Huh. Right. So now we can unlock the banks, and that's when we can really start to pump out cash. So uh, I think everything is going well at this point. I'll bet things are going slowly. That will. And perfect, the houses are being built, and these are just absolutely wonderful tiny houses that allow people to uh, have the have slightly better accommodations here and there. Their housing quality is 46, and over here, the, it's right around 42, and yeah, it's actually the same thing around the countrysides. So, um, these houses actually increase the happiness of each other, so they should be at, the ones in the middle should be slightly higher than the ones on the sides. And what we can do here for this area to make it even more effective is that let's actually put down say a garden behind these houses so put thing so we'll put that thing there and that should just automatically be a bit of a booster to the happiness rating we'll actually make a plaza area over here like that and you know what i think um i think i'll just actually make this area entirely into its own type of thing here Right, so just like that. Oh, actually, we can also decorate this area as well. Let's see what the models we have for the uh, the plazas over here. That would one, that one, one would be really nice, but I think we'll go for say, I think we'll go for this one over here. So yeah, now these people with the well-off houses have an absolutely wonderful backyard area and going from here Swiss bank oh my god that's gonna take some time to unlock but once it does unlock we will have a lot of that stuff available and how's the steel mill going that is done as well now and it's generating us a slight amount of money it's not as profitable as those cigars but it's doing decently well and we'll take a look at trade as well here we'll see yeah we can sell steel to the allies so we'll do that and nobody to sell our tobacco on, so that is rather unfortunate. But I think we can sell our coffee to the Axis over here. No, oh well. Let's see what we can place inside this area right here now. Let's put a grocery stand or a grocery building right here. And I think this will increase, uh, will help us out here. And I'll just quick build it because we don't, we, well, we have the time. So, let's see. We can increase the food quality here by doing the farmer's fair thing. And that'll be nice. Now, military base, oh, that's right, yeah, we're, we should probably work on these military bases as well. So, this area over here is probably just going to be all farmland, rural farmland for our guys. So, let's see. Because we can build these military barracks, um, and we we do want two of them. They're actually oh, they're actually not too big. So I think we'll have the uh, first and second squad of the Tropican military. I think we'll get them to settle inside this mine area like that. And let's make this area guarded by two watchtowers, just because something will look cool. So I think that'll I'm complete sure these uh, military building objectives, so that'll be nice. Now, how much of these... Oh, that's why we don't have a mine here. I was wondering about whether or not, whether or not we were Time. actually exporting this um, the rock stuff that we have over there, but evidently not. I forgot to build a mine over there. And we'll do that next time, once we uh, have these buildings up and running. But I mean, overall, I'd say that our town here is very, very pretty, and as those construction tasks get sort of underway, let's actually take a tour of our town. I just want to see this one more time. This is actually really pretty. Right from the palace, you have a, like, a look into the main road over here. And then as we move down here, we sort of have this... Uh, I don't really know what to call it, like semi-slum area of these country houses where people just sort of grow food despite the fact that they're in the middle of a of a city. And we have a pub too, of course. And going from here, 
we have, say, like the industrial slash semi-well-off zone inside our, our city with 